Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we will continue our discussion about general annuity. So yung focus ng video lesson nito is to find the present value of general annuity. So I hope na panood niyo yung part 1 nito, yung how to find the future value kasi doon din discuss no what is about uh, what is all about general annuity. So ano ba yung mga example ng general annuity at yung mga ibang terminologies na may encounter nyo about general annuity. So, the formula to find the present value of general annuity, so R times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus I raised to negative N over I. So, again, kailangan natin kunin muna yung equivalent rate by using this formula. Okay? So, I is equal to 1 plus R raise, uh, this R over M sub 2, or ito yung nominal rate natin, raised to M sub 2 over M sub 1 minus 1. And then, yung N I 10, M sub 1 times T, where R is the regular payment, I is the equivalent interest rate per payment interval converted from the interest rate per period. And then, N is the number of payment, R is the nominal rate, M sub 1 is the payment interval, M sub 2 is the length of compounding period, and T is the term of annuity. So, for example, Ken borrow an amount of money from Kat. He agrees to pay the principal plus interest by paying 38,973 pesos, 0.76, each year for 3 years. So, how much money did he borrow if he... If interest is 8% compounded quarterly. So, ano yung mga given values natin? So, first, so ano yung regular payment niya? That is 38,973.76. And then, uh, tuwing kailan siya magbabayad? So, tuwing kailan? Every, uh, once a year. Okay. So, yung M sub 1 natin dito, since uh, once a year siya nagbabayad, so therefore, uh, yung M sub 1 natin is equal to 1. And then, ano yung compounding uh, ano natin? period? That is compounded quarterly. So, therefore, yung M sub 2 natin dito ay is equal to 4. And then, yung term natin that is good uh, paying for 3 years, so T is equal to 3. And then, the nominal rate is 8%. Okay? So, i-convert ni natin into decimal. That is 0 0.08. And N is equal to M sub 1 times T. And that is 1 times 3. So, the value of N is 3. So, before we find the present value of the general annuity, so, we need to convert 8% compounded quarterly to its equivalent interest rate for its payment interval. So, yun muna ang una natin gagawin. So, kagaya ng pagkuha sa future value, we can use this formula, no? Para makuha natin yung equivalent rate. And, substitute lang natin yung mga values natin dito sa formula. So, yung nominal rate na 0 0.08, divide 4, raised to 4 over 1 minus 1. So, you can use your scientific calculator. So, the answer is 0 0.08243216. So, i-try natin gamit yung calculator. Okay, gamit yung calculator natin. So, again, paano kunin yan using the calculator? So, lagay muna natin yung open and close parenthesis natin. Then, lagay natin sa gitna. 1 plus, pindot natin yung fraction bar. So, sa taas, ilagay natin yung 0 0.08 over 4 and then yung uh, exponent natin. And then, pagkalagay, lagay ulit natin yung fraction bar. That is 4 over 1. Okay. Then, down minus 1. So, the answer will is 0 0.08243216. So, again, Kunin natin dito yung 8 decimal places. Kagaya na sinabi ko kan uh, sinabi sa inyo sa part 1 ng video lesson about general annuity. So, para safe tayo sa sagot. So, makukuha na natin yung present value by using the formula R times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus I raised to negative N over I. 
So, kung substitute lang natin yung mga nakuha natin given, lahat ng mga values dito. So, yung regular payment natin is 38,973.76 times 1 minus the value of, okay, 1 minus 1 plus the value of i raised to negative 3, okay, over the value of i. So, using the calculator, so solve natin using the calculator. So, type muna natin yung 38,973.76. And then, open and close parenthesis. And lagay natin yung fraction bar sa gitna. So, sa taas, 1 minus, open parenthesis again, then 1 point. Pwede na natin idugtong yung value ng i dun sa 1 natin. So, lagay lang natin 1.0824. Three two one six and then close parenthesis. Okay, so, uh, ayaw. Close parenthesis. Then yung fraction natin. Ah, uh, yung pang sa exponent natin na negative three. Then sa baba ilagay natin yung value ulit ng i. That is zero point zero eight two four three two one six. And then click equals. So the answer is one hundred thousand. Okay. So, the answer is 100,000 pesos. Okay. So, pwede, uh, kailangan nyo talaga ng calculator dito para ma-solve yung uh, ano natin, present value. Kasi mahirap siya imano-mano. So, ibig sabihin, can borrow 100,000 pesos from CAT. Okay. Another example. Mrs. Remoto would like to buy a television set payable for 6 months starting at the end of the month. How much is the cost of the TV set if her monthly payment is 3000 and interest is 9% compounded semi-annually? So, what is our regular payment? That is 3000 So, the regular payment is 3000 and then... Tuwing kailan siya magbabayad? Set her monthly payment. So, since monthly payment, therefore, yung M sub 1 natin is equal to 12. At ano yung compounding uh, period niya? That is, compounded semi-annually. So, again, makukuha natin yung M sub 2 natin dito class. Yung compounding period natin. Or, madali siya makuha dahil kasunod siya ng word na compounded. So, semi-annually yan. So, therefore, M sub 2 is equal to 2. And then, the term is ilang years. Payable for 6 months. So, 6 months. So, T is equal to uh, that. Okay. So, ang ano natin dito is 6 months. Ibig sabihin, uh, kailangan natin siyang i-convert into year. So, kala, 6 months is half of a year. So, 6 over 12 were equivalent to 0 0.5. And then, yung nominal rate natin, that is 9% or that is 0 0.09. Okay? So, and N is M times 1, or M sub 1 times T, and that is 12 times 0 0.5. 12 times 0 0.5, the answer is 6. So, that is the number of payments. So, yung N kasi, ibig sabihin ng N ilang beses siya magbabayad ng 3,000 pesos. Okay, so ibig sabihin, 6 na beses. So again, bago natin makuha yung present value, kailangan natin i-convert yung 8%, oh, that is 9%, okay? So that is 9%. So again, we need to convert 9% compounded semi-annually to its equivalent interest rate for monthly payment interval. So, same formula. Sa so substitute lang natin. So, lahat ng kailangan natin sa formula. So, yung nominal rate natin, which is 0 0.09 over 2, raised to 2 over 12 minus 1. Then, using your calculator, the answer is 0 0.00736312. Okay. So, now we can find the present value of general annuity. So, using the formula, the regular payment times 1 minus 1 plus i raised to negative n over i. So, ang gagawin lang natin, 
substitute lang natin lahat ng values no sa formula na to so that is 3000 times 1 minus 1 plus the value of i raised to negative 6 since yung n natin is 6 over the value of i so using your calculator so kagaya ng ginawa natin sa example number 1 so you can uh, use scientific calculator pa para makuha natin yung present value so, sundan nyo lang yung ginawa natin kanina sa paggamit ng scientific calculator para hindi kayo uh, magkamali. So, therefore, the answer is 17,545 pesos and 8 centavos. So, ano ibig sabihin yan? So, ibig sabihin yung cost ng TV, yung TV set is 7,545 pesos and 8 centavos. Okay, for example, number 3. A sala set is for sale at 16,000 in cash or on monthly installment. So, ibig sabihin class, kapag kinash natin yung sala set daw, uh, that is 16,000 pesos. And, or on monthly installment of 2,950, 950 for 6 months at 12% compounded semi-annually. So, now, how are you going to solve for that? So, ang tanong, which is lower, the cost price or the present value of the installment term? So, ano yung mga given natin? So, meron tayo yung cost price ng sala set is 16,000. So, kapag kinash mo yung sala set daw, that is worth of 16,000 pesos. Pero, ang kailangan natin masolve kung magkano yung uh, present value niya kapag ang pinili mo is yung monthly installment na magbabayad ka ng 2,950 sa loob ng 6 months. Okay? Okay, yung 2,950, that is the regular payment. And then, yung M sub 1 natin, since uh, monthly ka magbabayad on that, no? May monthly installment ka magbabayad. So, therefore, yung M sub 1 natin is equal to 12. And then, M sub 2 natin, ano yung compounding period natin? That is semi-annually. So, ibig sabihin, M sub 2 is equal to 2. And then, the time is 6 months. So, T is equal to 6. And, i-convert e, natin into year. 6 over 12, that is 0 0.5. Ibig sabihin, kalahate ng isang taon. Okay? Yung nominal rate natin is 12%. So, that is 0 0.12. And then yung n, m sub 1 times t. So, 12 times 0 0.5, n is equal to 6. Okay. Same nung ginawa natin kanina. Same nung ginawa natin kanina. So, kailangan muna natin i-convert. Yung 12% compounded semi-annually to its equivalent interest rate for its monthly interval. So, using the formula, substitute lang natin lahat ng values no, na kailangan natin sa formula natin. So, that is, yung nominal rate natin is 0 0.12. And then, yung M sub 2, that is 2. Raised to 2 over 12 minus 1. So, using your scientific calculator, the answer is 0 0.00975879. So, we can find now the present value kapag uh, monthly installment. So, tingnan natin yung difference kung saan ba yung mas mababa yung cash price ba o yung present value for installment term. Using the formula, so that is R, or the regular payment, times 1 minus 1 plus I, raised to negative N over I. So, substitute lang natin lahat ng values na kailangan natin dito sa formula neto. And that is 2,950 times 1 minus 1 plus the value of I, raised to negative 6 over the value of I. So, you can use your scientific calculator, kagaya ng ginawa natin sa example number 1. So, the answer is 17,110 pesos point 84. So, as you can see, sino ang, mas ma sino ang mas mababa? Of course, yung cash price. So, mas mababa kapag uh, binili mo yung sala set na in cash. Okay? So, kaysa dun sa monthly installment na magbabayad ka ng 2,950. So, ilan yung difference? So, 1,000 plus din yung difference. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.